turned part manufacturer, have you considered sliding head technology? Now, before we look into this, Alec, why is this technology so popular nowadays? I think manufacturers are looking to put components on the most efficient machine tool they can, and obviously sliding head are extremely productive machines. So why is it that they're so productive? I think there's, it's all due to this sort of automation that's built into our product. Obviously, with the bar feeder, with the different technologies we've got inside the cutting room, it makes it a really efficient process. Right, let's have a look in this model. This is the SP23. It is, this is one of our newest sliding head lathes. It's a real versatile machine tool. Uh, we've got a real flexible uh, platen on head one. We've got multiple stations that can accept multiple different types of cartridge type tools, such as slotting, thread whirling, front drilling uh, attachments. And on head two, we've got four stations that are all uh, power tool stations as well. So what is the USP on this particular model? I think with this particular model, you're getting an awful lot of machine tool for your money. It's really flexible. So for those subcontractors that don't know what's coming through the door, this machine with its inch capacity uh, with bar prep is, is a very versatile, very good solution for them. And what's the leap of faith people are making to go for a machine like this? Is it complicated? It's not complicated. I think that's a bit of a, a bit of a myth. Sliding head technology has evolved over the last few years, so they're, they're a lot, lot easier these days to program. And what about the material? We do various materials, but it's all about the soft management, really. And um, what do we need to consider with that? Obviously, to have a stable process, you want to avoid birds nesting, obviously soft building up in certain areas into the machine to also Is that now when you go into the young man run? Exactly. So unattended running means all the swarf dropping away from the cutting zone. And obviously now we've got Step Cycle Pro, which really helps with that condition. So ultimately I see a machine like this, your lights out, your unmanned run. What is it that you're putting into this that allows a machinist, an engineer to go, you know, that I feel comfortable using that. It's all about creating a stable process. And obviously the various technology that we've got built into sliding head machines allow us to give us that unattended running, which is what manufacturers want. 